<laughs> All right, folks. Keep it going for the next kid here. Jake Labovitz. Give it up for Jake. Funny, we have theme music coming up. <laughs> so, how is everybody? Good. 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 So, over winter break, I spent some time in the Philippines, which is pretty fun there. The Philippines is a lot different than America. First off, the restaurants. All right, when you're sitting in a restaurant here in America, you know, you're sitting in the booth, and uh, oh, I forgot to order a cup of coffee. So then your waiter's already gone. You sort of stick your head out of the booth and you look for the waiter, the waitress, and when you do spot him, you just sort of raise your hand a little bit and give him a little wave. It's like, yeah, you got a minute? Coffee, please. All right? <laughs> but in the Philippines, what you do, you're sitting in your booth, you forgot, no, I forgot coffee. Boy, coffee now. <laughs> you see, you can't do that here in America because the waiters and waitresses here have a little something called feelings. <laughs> you know, they don't care who you humiliate in the Philippines, you know, especially, I mean, dating for instance, all right? Complete humiliation for the boy, all right? What you do, you have to go through a little process called courting, all right? Yeah, I know. It's courting, all right? What you do for the boy, you have to buy the girl stuff, you have to buy her family stuff, you have to do household chores, you have to do her brother's homework. The kid could be four and you gotta do his coloring for him. <laughs> but yeah, but in the end of all of that, it ends up to marriage. It leads up to marriage. Or it can end up like this. The girl would be like, you know, I don't really like you that much, you know, but thanks for paving our driveway. <laughs> Got any friends I might like? Because, you know, we need a new pool and roof leaking. Yeah. I'm a Martian. Anyone like to mosh in here? Yeah. Anybody else know what moshing is? One. For the rest of you, I have to explain now. Moshing to the untrained eye is pretty much just a big, tangled group of bodies fighting each other, surrounded by a big crowd of people. Alright? But there are many subtleties and nuances to the art of the mosh. First off, there's many different varieties. One of them is called skanking. Skanking is what I like to call the crazy homeless guy dance. Because it looks like a crazy homeless guy. What you do is get really low to the ground, and you start taking big, drunken steps <laughs> without tripping over the cord. And then you start waving your fists around like punching the air. And this is called skanking. You do this continuously in a big circle. Then there's the circle mosh, which is pretty much the same thing as skanking in a continuous circle with, with about 50 other people doing the exact same thing. And then there's my favorite, the wall of death. The wall of death is pretty awesome. Have, every, have you guys seen Troy? You know, it's big two lines of people, just giant lines, and you're staring each other down, and then whenever the singer calls for it, you skank towards the other group of people, and you beat the crap out of them. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> yeah, it is. Fun and dangerous. Yeah, it still sounds dangerous, but uh, there's an etiquette. There is an etiquette, believe it or not. It consists of the following. Any dismembered body parts, you have to return to their original owners. <laughs> Any, in the case of death, you have to notify their next of kin. A card would be nice. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, and, you know, although the club owners, they don't necessarily encourage death, they set up this little system to test the intensity of it. So what they do is they take, like, something nice and pure, like a teddy bear, right? And they would chuck it into the pit. And depending on how many pieces it was ripped into, and how rapidly it was ripped into those pieces, that would determine the intensity of the pit. In other words, a mosh is pretty much just a human blunder. All you gotta do, take some strawberries, cream, ice, bananas, milk, make yourself a nice little smoothie. Although, it might turn out with some hair, some teeth, some eyeballs. But just drink around it, or return it to its original owner. Thank you very much. Woo! Be